Hi, Panzer. Aditi here with Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. Now, bear in mind, this is a general read, so not everything is going to resonate with everyone. So take what resonates and leave what does not also. Please note that spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum. So the only time by which we tell time is divine time. You dig what I'm saying? All right, so new format, who this? Here we have your overall energies, and then we have past, present, and future. Clarifiers for all three, and also some advice from spirit. So let's get started. Let's see what we have. So, overall message for today is number one, Hosho. Does that say the beauty way of the Navajo? It sure does. The beauty way of the Navajo. So, let's take a look. <coughs> Make sure that we are centered ish okay all right so and it says you are my sacred earth child and I am your divine earth mother with unconditional love I provide that all you want and need so that you may fulfill your sacred destiny we will always belong to each other with abundance and generosity, I support you, revealing the divine beauty meant for you so that joy and awe shall fill your soul. Relax now. It is time for you to be healed. So, past energy is the world card. Current energies, Seven of Swords, Future Energy, Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. So, uh, who? So we have an ending slash new beginning here. You see how we've got these clouds here and that they're burst forth through this darkness here. All right, there's and We've got these fires that were leading one through the darkness and the light has finally arrived. We've got the arms raised in triumph. We've got the coin here showing that not only is this a new beginning, but you also have a new beginning with resources in hand. So bring that a little bit closer. got the coin here you can't hardly see it but uh, moving forward resources in hand like this is and even though there has been there's been a lot of there's been a lot of turmoil but the storm is done the storm has passed and now it's time to see things with fresh eyes. Uh, current energy is the seven of swords. That's a lot of, that's, that's 
that's a lot of voices. Those are a lot of thoughts. Um, sometimes it's it, it could be like a sewing circle, like a bunch of people gossiping or a lot of uh, accusations thrown in certain directions. There's just, it's a lot of tongue wagging and some of it is, is vicious. And then moving into the future, we've got the Knight of Pentacles. You've got, you know, the the slowest moving knight in the deck, number one, but also the most thorough knight in the deck. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is going to make sure that nothing is overlooked, which is why he takes so long. But once he sets out to do something, he does not stop until he completes it. So for the world card clarifying, we have the Queen of Wands, we have the Hangman, and we have the Nine of Swords. The Queen of Wands, the Hangman, and the Nine of Swords. So there is <clears throat> with the Queen of Wands, there's there, there's a certain there, there's a passion involved here. She's she's hot, you know. She's she's the queen of fire, right? What what else is she gonna be but blazing hot and have control over that? But this she she also is very calculating with how she uses her fire. You see here, like here's here's the, in this deck, this is the butcher. And the butcher knows what parts to use, what body parts of the animal to use to achieve certain results. And it's done through much study and much practice. A, a good queen or a queen that is known for being a good queen just doesn't wake up and decide she's going to rule. She has to learn how to rule. The same way the butcher needs to learn all of the different body parts of all of the different animals. And in this case, also needs to know the spiritual properties of which so that when these sacrifices are being done for ritual, that the proper animal is sacrificed and in the proper way. And the hangman is about looking at things differently, also surrendering to the forces that are greater than you, right? The, the hangman understands that the position that they're in is not one that they're going to get out of right away. And so it's about saying, okay, well, I'm here now, so how can I make the best of where I am currently so that when I do move forward, I can take the lessons that I've learned from being in this precarious position. Followed up by the Nine of Swords. So there's a whole lot of anxiety that is tied in to this new beginning, right? Because you are used to what was. It's comfortable, even if it was terrible. Because again, coming back here, darkness, right? storms and whatnot even though there were storms you knew the storm you knew how to navigate the itty bitty spanging rain and the big fat rain like you knew how to navigate all of that and it you were so used to the storm that you had just resolved to think well this is how it's going to be and this is my lot in life and 
you're coming to grips with the fact that no, it doesn't have to be that way. As evidenced by the world card, like it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be all pain all the time. And so to clarify the seven of swords, we have the two of swords, we have the high priestess, and we have the four of wands. So conflicting information, divine calling, long-standing stability, conflicting information, divine calling, long-term stability. But this long-term stability is not, this long-term stability is going to, and the way that you're going about it is making people uncomfortable. Like if you look a little bit closer, hold on, let me get this a little bit closer, what the dot, you'll see, is that a bird, is that a butterfly, that's a, is that a fairy? So you'll see all of the creatures that are around it. There are three of them that are dead. There's one that's bleeding profusely, about to die. The other two are banged up pretty bad. Like the gossip is this this gossip is vicious. Vicious. And the reason that and when people Spread vicious gossip, it is because they are intimidated by the subject of that gossip, one way or another. Like they're just, you know, and it's because whatever the subject is doing, it is, it's somehow affecting the gossiper's ability to manipulate or control the situation. Like if they don't have any use for you anymore, then they wind up bashing, bashing one's name, but you've got this divine calling on your life and you're moving towards it because this stability that you've been looking for, you know it's not gonna come from anywhere else but from spirit and for those that either don't believe or don't understand they got nine million things to say but regardless as to who's saying what you're going to keep on pushing right and to clarify that you've got the three of pentacles you've got the page of swords and the Six of Cups. So this, you're, you're coming away from this, this old community that is no longer serving you and coming into a new one that you are able to work with, right? And that, and, and you're, being watchful. Okay, let me let me come back. So the three of pentacles is the community building card. You see how we've got one, two, and three. We've got we've got one person here who is in the trance. You've got the other one who is facilitating and making sure that they stay safe, right? But you've got this whole community aspect here, and it's about building. 
right? And everyone having their own role and fulfilling their own part, right? Pulling their, their, they're pulling their own weight. And with the Page of Swords, the Page of Swords is the Watcher. So you are looking at this, you're, you're looking at, and this goes beautifully with the Knight of Pentacles, like looking at all of the I's and all of the T's and making sure that what needs to go is going one moment. Okay, so back to this. So the Page of Swords is like gathering the information, right? And then we have the Six of Cups, which is about pleasure, which is about good times. It's a card of nostalgia. It's a card of memory making. It's, it's a card of happiness. Looking back on what was with happiness without living in it. So honoring what you've learned from this, this previous community, which has up until now started giving you anxiety, actually. Okay. So let's look at the final messages. Three of Pentacles again. Seven of Swords again. The Magician and the Five of Pentacles. Building regardless as to what others have to say about it because you are communicating with the divine and all that is falling away is simply dead weight one more time one more time there we go you are building regardless of what others have to say because you are connected to the divine. So all that does fall away is what needs to fall away. Hmm. Thank you, Cancer, for spending some time with me today. Until we meet again, be good to yourselves and to each other, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Cancer.